Southeastern Aurora is growing with numerous new homes being built near the Aurora Reservoir. But it's also a new fracking project there that has many members of that community worried. Michael Abeda has been looking into this issue and spoke with the man who created that group trying to stop the project. So, Michael, what can they really do at this point? Well, Kelly, right now it is just a proposed project, which means, which means it has to go through the permitting process. But those neighbors say that if this project is approved, it could be dangerous for anyone who lives in Colorado's third largest city. Kevin Chan has lived in Colorado for four months, and it was a neighborhood situated on the banks of the Aurora Reservoir that brought him here. I saw how great it was, the outdoors, the reservoir, the running, the biking. You know, it just seemed like the perfect place. But just months after moving in, he saw something on social media that he says threatens to ruin his dream. There was a post on our neighborhood Facebook page saying something about mineral rights, but everybody was a little bit confused. He did some research and learned Civitas, an oil and gas producer, wants to build a fracking project near the reservoir. They want to pretty much draw a line of, of, of surface pads along the east side. That is too close for Kevin's comfort, so he got active and created a Facebook page called Save the Aurora Reservoir. Now neighbors are working together to try to stop the project because they say if a leak ever happens, it could threaten not only their way of life, but the drinking water for the entire city of Aurora. I don't think that it should be this close to a neighborhood and our water. In a statement to CBS News Colorado, Civitas says they will, quote, continually safeguard our water supplies by utilizing redundant environmental protections, adhering to regulations, performing consistent monitoring, and through the use of their own operational best management practices. They also point out that in addition to the safeguards, more than a mile of impenetrable rock will separate the wells from the reservoir. But for Kevin and his neighbors, those promises aren't enough. Accidents do happen. I do believe that it does. It's just a matter of when these accidents are going to happen and how big they are going to be. Now that group Save the Aurora Reservoir has made yard signs and they are handing them out to neighbors who live in this area. Civitas meanwhile says that no matter what, that they have strong commitment to the communities where they operate and they will meet or exceed the state's laws and regulations. In Aurora, Michael Aveta covering Colorado first. Certainly.